and we are back. So this is Sunday, January the 26th, and this was chat number 158, tracking tips and tricks. So part of that tracking, one of the tracking tips that we did not talk about is things like the Super Bowl. So next week, next Sunday night is the Super Bowl. I don't expect to see a whole lot of y'all here, or if I do see you um, here, um, yeah, I expect to see a lot of distracted people. So um, luckily, I guess, luckily, none of my teams are in it, so it's not gonna really hurt my feelings to miss it. I could watch it either way, and I'll watch some of the commercials. But tracking, tracking, tracking. So if you surround yourself with things that are lower WW points, still delicious food, things that other people will eat, things that your civilian friends will eat. And if you pre-track them before the game starts, you just hit, you just hit all the marks um, for your Super Bowl food and for being, you know, for being, for being ready, for being prepared. So let's talk about some of those. Okay. Oh no, Teresa says, bye guys, not doing the Super Bowl thing. Happy cooking. So Teresa, these are good for any time. This doesn't just have to be for the Super Bowl. This is not football related. Just trying to get people prepared, you know, for this, you know, for next weekend. But these are be, would be great. Um, so these these would be great for um, parties at work. These would be great for um, you know those church things I've been talking about for Sunday school meals for um, again work things. You know, like if you have to bring a covered dish to work or something. You know, these are all great for that. These are so good. This is what we're eating for supper tonight. So we're eating it for supper tonight and probably um, tomorrow night too. So, because uh, actually we could probably have them for lunch the next couple of days too. Because again, I cooked for two hours. So let's talk about some of these. So these are all really good. Super delicious. Super delicious. Does not have to take you two hours to get them ready. I had to get all of the um, recipes ready so that Jessica can get them put up, you know, so that we can do that too. One of the things we made, don't forget for oh camping trips. Yeah, Stacy's exactly right. Camping trips. Yeah, always, always, always. So one of the things that we made was another batch. We made another batch of the Winstar Karen's um, buffalo chicken dip. That recipe is already on the blog. Again, it's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com and you can just search buffalo chicken dip or Winstar Karen or Karen um, and you should be able to find it. So the buffalo chicken dip is one smart point per quarter of a cup and a quarter of a cup is quite a bit this is almost a half of a cup but a quarter of a cup is quite a bit you could eat it with um let's see when we made it a couple of weeks ago you could eat it with um carrots it's really good with carrots it's good with celery it's good with things like that but we're going to use it for a couple of other things um tonight but that recipe is already on the blog but it's a good one it's a keeper um it is it is spicy because i put extra i put extra frank's red hot in there you don't have to use frank's brand but you could just need to use some kind of wing sauce like that and i also add the dax butt kicking butt kicking buffalo butt kicking buffalo i add that um also so we're so let's look at a couple of things that we were you know that we were going to make oh and teresa says oh okay okay i'm still here yeah because you don't have to ha just have this for the super bowl Okay, and I was going to make some of this while we were talking, but there's too much. Like, we're going to be lucky to get this all covered in 24 minutes. The first thing was something so easy, so easy that anyone can make this. I promise anyone, even if you don't cook, anyone can make this. So the first thing is some honey mustard meatballs. So who doesn't love honey mustard? So everybody makes barbecue meatballs and the meatballs that have the hot sauce and the jelly, you know, and you can, you know, you can make those, but these are super fast and super easy. It doesn't take all day long to cook in the crock pot. You could keep them warm in the crock pot. You certainly could make them in the crock pot, but these are turkey meatballs and um, they are, let me tell you, these are turkey meatballs. You can also make these with meatless meatballs. And I think Trader Joe's has the best meatless meatballs and they are actually just called meatless meatballs. So um, because I tracked this, these recipes, I already have them. So I'm just gonna go to search food and I'm going to go to my food and I'm gonna go to my recipes. And then I'm gonna search within my recipes, meatballs. So the honey mustard meatballs, the ones that are turkey, and that's what these are. So these were just frozen turkey meatballs, and I cooked them in the air fryer on three, I think it was 300, oh wait, uh, I did it, I did it, I recorded it, hold on. 
10 minutes on 360 degrees. So lightly spraying with a little bit of nonstick spray because since they're turkey or if you do the meatless meatballs, just spray them with a little bit of nonstick spray. Or if you have one of these, if you've got an Evo sprayer, um, and you can get these on Amazon. Um, and I don't know if this one's up yet or not, but Casey and Jessica have also been working on adding my um, the things that I buy on Amazon and use. They've been adding those to another section on the blog on if you have an egg.com so that y'all can go straight to them. Um, and sorry, people like this don't offer us a discount, but you know, at least you can go straight to them. But the Evo, these are, this is a non aerosol spray and I would spray it, but then I would have olive oil everywhere. Um, but one spray is a fourth. Yeah. Good night, Esther. You do need to sleep. One spray is a, is a fourth of a teaspoon. So four sprays is approximately a teaspoon or one smart point, but this is just an Evo and we'll, if this is not already on that Amazon section, then we'll put it on there. But anyway, so lightly spray them um, with some nonstick spray or with that. And yes, Carol Lou, they are, yes, frozen meatballs. Um, and, um, so it was three, let's see, it was 360 degrees for 10 minutes, shake them about halfway through. You can do this with the turkey ones or with the uh, meatless ones, the turkey ones on green. So I only know green, sorry. I mean, I'll check for the others later, but on green, you get three meatballs for four, but after I cook for four smart points, but after I cook them, um, I put them into a container that has a lid and I put a half of a cup of G Hughes sh um, sugar-free honey mustard. And that is thanks to Debbie. So Debbie got that, got me hooked on that. But a half of a cup of that, shake it up really good. Put a few, you know, scallions or some green onions, you know, or what on there because it's, um, good night, Esther just because that makes it pretty but those are honey mustard and so easy i mean literally you didn't cook anything you just took frozen meatballs put them in the air fryer shook them up with some sugar-free honey mustard stuck a couple of toothpicks in them super cute people are going to love them so they are honey mustard you can also make so for three meatballs um three of the turkey ones it is it's four smart points if you get the meatless meatballs they're a little bit smaller they're a little bit smaller, but you get six meatballs for four smart points. And of course they would be meatless. Okay, so that's the easy one. That's the first one that we made and it's super, super easy. The second thing is the buffalo chicken dip. So again, the buffalo chicken dip recipe is already on the blog, www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Um, it is one smart point per serving. Um, super easy to make. Again, great on celery, great on carrots. But because it's so low point, you could also um, put this on chips. Like you could afford to, afford to use some, um, to eat with some tortilla chips. You could, and let's just see. So how many points, if you were going to eat these with, let's say, if you were going to eat these with like Tostitos scoops, let's see how many points that would be. So if you had Tostitos scoops, you could have 13 Tostitos scoops for, um, uh, for, uh, sorry, 13 Tostito scoops for four smart points, a quarter of a cup of this for one. So you would be having chips and buffalo chicken dip for five smart points. For five smart points. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, and uh, Debbie says Trader Joe's has the turkey meatballs, three SP blue for two. Okay, but that's blue. Okay, so I don't, I haven't calculated blue yet. I've only done green. And let's see, the meatballs are, I think the meatballs were a pound and a half. So I already, already threw it away. I already threw it away. But anyway, so you could do, you could totally do that. Or you could get those little crostini. Um, I was going to do that, but I did something different with it. But you could get those little crostinis um, and put, put it on that. Um, just going to say with a spoon. This is delicious just with a spoon. So thank you, Winstar Karen. I still thank you every time we make this recipe. But super, super easy. So that was the first one. And that recipe is already on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Oh, and you make this in the microwave. So how easy is that? You don't have to slave over it. And, you know, there's another, the old uh, buffalo chicken recipe that I used to make was like, oh, yeah, Robin says pita chips. Perfect. Perfect. Um, but the old chicken dip recipe that I used to make took like a long time. You had to bake it in the oven and all this stuff. And of course, it was like a million um, points. This is in the microwave. And I'm telling you, it tastes exactly here. I'll prove it. It tastes exactly like it. I've been eating this all day. Perfect. It is perfect. It tastes exactly, exactly like it. Exactly like the other one. Okay, so what I did from that, one of the things that I made it with 
is um, I made some little twice baked um, potatoes, some little twice baked potato skins. Now, yes, Teresa, it is very spicy. So don't do, so Teresa's asking if it is spicy. It is very spicy. Um, but Teresa, we made a different version of it. Like the last time we made it, I made a different version of it. And instead we used, you still use the ranch dressing, but I put bacon in it. And let me think, what else did I put in it? It was like bacon and ranch. I'm trying to think what else it had in it. I don't remember, but anyway, but it was, it was really good. It went over really well too. It might've just been bacon and ranch, um, like a bacon and ranch, um, version for you know for people who don't like hot things but this is um these are just little potatoes so these are those little bitty you can see how small they are so they're just little potatoes you have to be um you have to be careful with them because since these are not big russet potatoes you have to let them cool before you actually scoop the stuff out of the middle but i have on this side and i'll post a recipe for this but these are just the little potatoes you um, cook them on for, I'll see it's on 400 for 10 minutes, then let them com almost completely cool before you try to cut them in half or you'll, or you'll rip the skin right off. So then cut them in half with a serrated bread knife because that helps you to keep from tearing the skin. And then you're gonna take something and scoop just a little bit out of the middle. So what I did to scoop, what I used to scoop out of the middle was an apple corer because it's the perfect little size. And I took a picture of it that I'll post when I post a recipe. It's the perfect size to just go scoop, turn it, scoop, and pluck it right out. You could use a melon ball or you could use something else, but you're just gonna take like this much. You're gonna take like that much out of the middle. You can't, these are small, so you can't make them quite as thin as a, as a you know, as a regular, a normal um, twice baked potato. But I don't know if you noticed or not, but I stuffed half of them with this. So half of them have buffalo chicken dip in them. The other half, and there's there's more because it makes way more than this, but the other half have a little bit of Velveeta shredded, um, like shredded Velveeta cheese and bacon on them. And then you can add, I have some, I have some non-fat plain Greek yogurt that I'm going to add to the top of this and a couple of chives. Excuse me. A couple of chives. And so now I have a little tiny twice baked, you know, twice baked potato skin. And again, this one has a little bit of um, Velveeta cheese, shredded cheese. It has bacon um, and it has fat free, non fat plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream because it tastes just the same when you use it like this and some chives. So let's see how this one is. I will save. I don't know. I'll try one of these too. Okay, so let's try one of these. Perfect. You know what I forgot though? Dax Steakhouse seasoning on a potato is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And Robin, I get the shredded Velveeta. You can get it at, if you live anywhere near a Kroger, you can get it at Kroger. Um, we're pretty sure you can order it from Amazon Grocery. So I added a little bit of um, Dax Steakhouse because that makes all potatoes taste like a steakhouse potato. This one has the buffalo ranch, the buffalo chicken dip in it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That is so good, but after you put the buffalo chicken dip in there, or like on these, after you put the Velveeta and the bacon on there, and it's already cooked bacon, not raw bacon. And yes, I think Walmart does have it. After you do that, you pop them back in the air fryer, or you could do them in the oven um, for five more minutes to get all to get everything all good and melty. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, super good. Then we have two more things that I made with those what but I want to show you one thing real quick we're not going to make any of this but if you just wanted to have something like popcorn don't forget that you can do things like this so skinny pop has um 
Skinny Pop has this these um, boxes now, which are super fun, you know, just to, you know, pop one and hand out to people. I don't know what makes it more fun eating out of it. I'm not going to pop one because we have all the rest of this food to eat. But they come three in a box. You can get these on Amazon. I did, I think I already sent Jessica the link, but it should be on there. But they come, it comes in a pop-up box. And it is four, I think it's four and a half cups of this for four smart points. But when this pops up, it makes its own individual little box that is super fun, super fun for people um, at a party. So if you just wanted to have some popcorn, that's something super easy. Again, no, barely any cooking. Okay, then we have what everybody's been waiting for. So these are um, air fryer pickles and again i was gonna make some of them while we were um you know while we were having a chat like during the chat but it was just gonna take too long and it was gonna be too messy sorry so these are just pickle spears and let me see i kept the jar out to show you and some i need somebody to explain this to me so what's the difference Whoop. what's the difference between regular dill pickles and polish dill spears I have no idea. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Uh-oh. <gasps> what did you steal? What did you take? Which kind? A potato. Mm, but which one? Okay, one John just stole a potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so John just stole one of the potatoes, so they'll tell you how good those are. Okay, so Polish dill spears. I have no idea what the difference is between those and a regular dill spear. Um, but yeah, but this is what I use. So you actually use the whole thing. Oh, and Lynn says hi. So you use the whole, and he's saying, huh? So he, you use the whole thing. So you use the whole spear and you use four. Oh, po the Polish spears have garlic. Hmm, hmm. Oh, and Debbie, Orlando Debbie says hi. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's laughing. Oh, I just realized we forgot to mail your sticker. Mm, we got to get her sticker mailed. Anyway, so it's a whole spear and you just take a piece of bacon. So... Oh, and Robin says she just had the skinny pop butter and did not care for it. It had a funny taste. I'm trying to think what kind I eat. Oh, I do eat butter. Oh, I love it. Okay. Anyway, it's really good. So it's the whole spear and you wrap a piece of bacon all the way around it. So start at one end and wrap it. And then I put it in the, um, I put it in the little, mm, wherever it is. I put it in the little pan that came with my, um, with my, excuse me, with my air fryer to try and keep the um, bacon wrapped around the pickle. If you don't have one of those pans or if you're doing this in, you know, in the oven or, you know, something else, you can use toothpicks to hold that on there. So you can use toothpicks to hold the bacon on there while it cooks. But if you're going to do that and if you're going to do it in an air fryer, let me just say you need to soak your toothpicks first because if you don't, they want to catch on fire not real fire just kind of like smelly smoke you know fire so soak your toothpicks if you're going to do that but you can pin them on there and then once you get that good and wrapped around there you just cook those um in your air fryer and oh debbie says live special delivery is required on the sticker so we're going to have to go to orlando I'm on the way. he says he's on the way He's already, he's already headed out the door. He is on the way, Debbie. Um, but anyway, so you wrap them around there, and it is 380 degrees for between 8 and 10 minutes, depending on the strength of your air fryer. And when they come, when you get done, you know, for people who love pickles, like Casey's mother-in-law is wild about pickles. Wild about pickles. So please tell me, look at this. Please tell me that the civilians at your Super Bowl party won't be just like, overjoyed at this just absolutely overjoyed at this and sandra wants to know can turkey bacon work with the pickle and yes they are salty <laughs> but uh, sandra wants to know if turkey bacon can work yes it will work you will need though turkey bacon or veggie bacon you will need the toothpicks though to help hold it on there because they're so stiff you know because they're not going to get greasy and limp you know like regular bacon does then you are going to need the water soaked toothpicks you know just to kind of hold it on there while they're cooking and if you use veggie bacon which i have done and it works perfectly well but if you do the veggie bacon spray it with just a little bit of either non-stick non spray or you can give it a spritz you know with your evo spritzer because that doesn't you know there's no it's just it's not aerosol but tell me 
people wouldn't just be tickled to death with this. So every time I make these, you know, people are like, what? Because they're thinking, and I use either, I'm sorry, Melissa wants to know what kind of bacon I use. And it's either, I use either Applegate Sunday bacon. It's one point per slice. Two slices are still two points. So it's not two slices for three points. Um, I think it was my Christy. Who was it? Was it my Christy that was saying if I used Kroger or something or the other, that you could have two of these for one point? I think I, you'll, something center cut. You'll have to talk to her about that. And um, Or at Trader Joe's, it's their Applewood Smoked. It's the uncured Applewood Smoked Bacon. And then they also have a an Applewood Uncured Smoked Bacon at Aldi that is one point. It's one point per slice. But yeah, I mean, these are delicious. So here, let's try it. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. It's perfect. Perfect. And sorry, y'all have to watch me eat. Mmm. 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 These are perfect. And I'm making these for Casey's mother-in-law the next time I see her. Um. And Wanda, it's veggie bacon. You've never seen veggie bacon? It's just bacon, but it's made out of vegetables. It's made out of vegetable protein. Or, yeah, it's vegetables. Okay, but I added a little bit of Dax Red Mountain Rub. Bacon is good enough on its own. It doesn't really need anything else. But Dax Red Mountain Rub, bam. Oh my gosh, sends it through the roof. So these are one point each if you just use the regular bacon like I'm talking about. And Lynn says that center cut is two slices for one point. So you could have two pickles for one point. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, and hey, Debbie just said Red Mountain Rub would be great on those. Debbie, it's, yeah, there's a time delay. Red Mountain Rub. Yeah, that's what I used on them. But again, it's in the air fryer. 380 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes, depending on your air fryer. Absolutely perfect. Perfection. These are perfect. Um, your civilian friends are going to love them. They're absolutely going to love them. Um, yeah, bacon air pick or bacon bacon wrapped pickles who doesn't want those except for Casey Casey doesn't like pickles but anyway so you can do that it is already on the blog so if you need so if you need um to go grab this recipe it's already on the blog it's on if you have an egg.com so you can just run over there and grab that again if you just go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com and if you search bacon wrapped pickle or pickle um oh my gosh Carol Red Mountain Rub is too spicy, then don't make the buffalo chicken dip. Just make the bacon ranch version of it because it would kill you. Um, but it is already on there. And again, it is just bacon wrapped pickles. So you can just search for that and you will absolutely find it. Okay, we have four minutes left. The last thing, the last thing, these little beauties. So I keep talking about the buffalo chicken dip. So this again, this is the buffalo chicken dip absolutely delicious one point per serving these though i wanted something else so i wanted something else that we could use to pick them up and i had already done um uh crostinis i had already done um celery do a celery with it a lot we had already done the tostito um scoops so um had not tried the had not tried it yet with pita chips so thank you whoever said that this is croissants or it's just crescent rolls so this is the pillsbury crescent rolls and they are the lower fat the lower fat rolls um but i will have to calculate what the points are but it wasn't bad because you're only going to use for the entire sheet of the crescent rolls like that whole thing you spread out that whole thing and you pinch all the little seams together you know if you've ever opened crescents and rolled them out it's got where you're supposed to peel them apart and roll them up into individual crescent rolls you pinch all those little seams together and then you're going to take between a fourth and a half of a cup. If you get too close to a half of a cup, it won't roll up. But, you know, just a little bit over a fourth of a cup. So that's just, it's just one smart point. Um, and roll it up in there. And you're going to roll it the long way and then cut it like it's a, um, cut it into these little pinwheels. And if they get smushy, because it's going to be a little bit wet in there. So if it gets smushy, then you can just kind of, you know, kind of perk them up a little bit before you put them on your cookie sheet and you cook these on 375 degrees for I think it was 12 to 15 minutes and I ended up taking them out at like at 12 um, because they in my oven they needed to go ahead and come out but look it made these adorable little pinwheels so this is the so this is the buffalo chicken the buffalo chicken dip in the crescent rolls made these little pinwheels how cute are those 
again, your civilian friends are going to go gaga. So they are absolutely going to go gaga for this stuff. We have two minutes. Let's see how they taste. I know they're going to be good because it has the buffalo chicken dip in it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect. And for those of you who need just a little less heat, that really tones it down a little bit because you're not putting a ton of the buffalo chicken dip on there um, before you roll it up and cook it. So it really, um, yeah, oh, Alicia, you're, this is not a whole crescent roll. So you're using the whole sheet, but when you roll it up, you're going to get, oh my gosh, I forgot to count it, and I'll put it on the recipe, but I want to say it's like 15 or 18. It's like 15 or 18 um yeah no, i need some water barbara but it's like 15 or 18 um pinwheels yeah so you're not going to use it maybe even be more than that so i would say with the chicken dip this is probably going to come out to like a point and a half to two maybe two you know per but this is so good and they're a decent size i mean they're not tiny you know they're not tiny by any means so it's definitely a decent size oh so yummy of course y'all know me i'm probably going to want to smear some more you know, some more buffalo chicken dip on top. But who could survive the Super Bowl? Who could survive the Super Bowl eating stuff like this? So all, all in, if you had a pickle spear, so if you had one of the bacon wrap pickles and had a couple of these, I'd be like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, you, 12, you could probably do, you could do all of this, all of this you could have you a nice little size plate and i'll try to take a picture of all of them together but you could have a nice size little plate for like 10 or 12 points yeah and if you ate a piece of pizza so if you if you're having pizza at the super bowl and um, you could have a you could eat like a piece of pizza for what you could have bacon wrapped pickle spears the buffalo chicken roll-ups the loaded baked potatoes loaded little baked potatoes and the honey mustard and the honey mustard and meatballs so awesome yeah and i see a couple of y'all are doing taco soup barbara's doing um chicken wings in the oven that is awesome so the recipes that are already on the blog the buffalo chicken dip is already there just go to if you have an egg.com and look at buffalo chicken dip the bacon wrap pickle spears are already there the mm, what else i will quickly um for tomorrow try to put on the meatballs and these super easy you're just going to use a buffalo chicken buffalo chicken dip roll roll these out pinch them spread it on there and bake them so super easy so most of it's already there you're going to be great you're going to ace this thing i will see you next week for the super bowl i expect all of y'all to be here i expect all of y'all to be here even if you're not really paying attention to me i expect you to every once in a while pop in and say say that you're watching just to make me feel better so anyway y'all have an amazing week do not forget to do your homework um if you are watching this later on YouTube, I just need you to go right here and watch the very next video, watch the next one that's going to pop up, share it with a friend, share it with somebody who needs some help, who needs some WW help. Um, go ahead and subscribe. So you can subscribe down here. And if you subscribe, go ahead and um, turn that little bell on, like check the bell so that you'll be notified and um, when we get you know when we have when new videos go up when Casey gets those added. And if you want one of these super comfy soft spread shirts, that link is over here. So y'all have a good evening. I hope everybody gets their Bravo stickers printed. Y'all have a great week. Don't forget to do your homework. I will see you next week. And there is no way that I'm getting Dusty tonight. I'm not putting Dusty up here tonight because he's already been crying the whole time. So y'all have an amazing week and I will see you next time. Good night. Good night.